this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills and today I'm going to do, I've done this before but uh, considering that it is apple season I'm going to make my dehydrated apple chips and probably do all kinds of batches of this in October because apples are so cheap this time of year. I think they were like 67 cents a pound versus $1.95, $2.50 so yeah, this is hopefully going to be the first of many of this, these uh, uh, processes. Unfortunately, I eat these things like candy, so I'll just have to be cautious here, or either that or make a huge bunch. Okay, I'm also going to make the apple vinegar while I'm at it, the apple scrap vinegar. Why not? Two birds with one stone. Oh, and as usual, I struggle opening this vinegar bottle. Okay, I've got my water here. I've got my dehydrator set up elsewhere, but I won't do that until I've peeled and cored everything. And I'm going to put some lemon juice and water here, and that should keep the apple slices from going brown before I put them on the dehydrator. Okay, so I've got my little handy dandy peeler core already, and here we go. And I've washed the apples. And we're all set to go here. This is a great tool, but I find I do have to set the cutter initially, which is fine, not a big deal. Oops, where's my knife? There it is. Okay, apple scraps can go right into the bowl. And I'm going to cut the chips. I'm going to cut the slices in half to make chips. Okay, let's do that again. The scraps in the bowl. And actually I could probably add water to this bowl right now. Cold water, just a bit anyway. I'll top it up later. Okay, next apple. Set the blade, and everything works beautifully then. These little devices are not expensive. I think I paid $15 for it. And they certainly come in handy for doing this style of, if you want to make apple chips. So I'm going to continue along until these are all done, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've got all my apples sliced and peeled and cored, and now I'm going to distribute them as quickly as I can onto this um, dehydrator tray, because I filled up the bowl quite a bit. So don't want these to go brown before they dry up. And hopefully I've got enough trays here, otherwise I'll be eating fresh apples or letting them sit in water for a while. And I am going to do a number of other batches of this because I love apple chips. Okay, so I started off I believe with 16 apples, now we'll have to see how many of the trays will hold. That'll give me a good indication of how many to buy at a time. One down. Keep going here. So there are other ways to preserve food. Not everything has to be canned. 
I certainly did can some apples for pies and for sauce, but uh, doesn't mean that you can't dehydrate apples either. You know, it's just different purposes. And not everything is best canned. I'm sure it's convenient. And, uh, I mean, I certainly do can tons of tomatoes every year for tomato sauce because being Italian, we eat a lot of pasta. And uh, even though my husband is not, <laughs> he's, at least he enjoys pasta, so there's no complaints. Okay, moving right along here. I've got three trays left. My bowl doesn't seem to have emptied out too much, unfortunately. But maybe they're just floating. Okay, I will get back to you after I have finished putting these on the trays. Well, it appears as though I definitely cleaned too many apples. I could have used another two trays. I've got my five trays all filled. So what I'm going to do is put these on the dehydrator immediately, cover these up with saran wrap and put them in the fridge, and uh, hopefully later on today I'll be able to move these around after they've dried up a bit and add those to the dehydrator. So the other point is that I have ended up with more of my apple scraps for vinegar and uh, I'm going to put a little bit of the vinegar that I made. Let me see if I can find that now. Just a moment. Well I knew exactly where it was. It's just my husband said it wasn't strong enough and I should let it continue to uh, ferment. So that's what it's doing. I guess I'm going to change that little piece of cloth there. Okay, so I'm going to add some of that. Considering that the last time I added the vinegar, it seemed to keep the mold down. So I'm going to cover this and cover this, and we'll start a fresh batch. Okay, a fresh piece of cheesecloth for my vinegar in mason jar that is still aging. cotton cloth that I'd used initially is um, still available to me, clean, and I have found a nice elastic band that I can use here as opposed to the string. Okay, so these are going to be set aside. Uh, apples left in the vinegar water so they don't turn brown, and hopefully within a few hours I'll be able to put these on the dehydrator as well. Next time I will not cut so many at once. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, so I have one full half gallon and one half half gallon. And I have another batch of uh, apple chips being made. So hopefully I'll have two full half gallons, which would make one gallon of apple chips stashed away and hopefully they'll last me a reasonable length of time. I somehow doubt it. I tend to eat these things like candy, but that'll be it for this batch. I think I think that's enough. On to other things. I hope you like this video and I thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.